Hello. Hello, everyone. Am I live already? I think I am. Well, there is a delay. I'm using my computer today and a bunch of micro. I'm all set here <laughs> with things that I'm not really used to to have. So you may, guys have uh, maybe have to wait for me to figure some things out. I think I know everything and I won't have a problem, but I do know that we have a delay. OK, so if I take uh, too long to answer on the chat is because of the delay. So hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. I'm so excited to share the news with you guys and to have this talk. Hello. Can you guys hear me well and see me well? It's everything OK. Hello, Pam. Who else is here? Jeanette, thanks for being a special fan and supporting the channel. Thank you very much. Aim. Larry, hello, everybody. Can you guys hear me well? OK, perfect. Great. Good to know. So today I want to share with you guys everything that you need to sculpt like me. You guys excited? I am. So that's, uh, let me introduce myself first. If you don't know me, I'm Juliana Lupine and I'm the owner of those hands that you guys see <laughs> sculpting on the internet, all over the internet with those beautiful nails. Yes, that's me. If you didn't know me, uh, and if you already know me, hi. <laughs> good, good to know. Um, so I've been uh, talking to you guys. I made a survey not that long ago asking you guys questions and opinions. And after doing some study since the last uh, classes that we have here, I realized a few things and uh, I think the best way to tell you guys how to make sculptors like me, it's telling you guys my path and what I did to sculpt this way today. So let me share a little bit of my story and a little bit of me, yes, and how everything started. And as we chat, obviously this is a, a conversation so um, I started sculpting when I moved to Canada. I was actress. I was an actress in Brazil before moving here, and I moved because of my husband. Now he's my husband. Uh, so I I couldn't act anymore. I didn't speak English. I still don't speak very well, but I was much worse before. So it's impossible to act when you don't speak the language. So I was already in search for something to do as a new work here. And then right after I moved here, we got married. And just for fun, I made our wedding cake topper. It was kind of like a thing in Brazil, people making a customized cake topper. Um, I've seen it was not like it was kind of starting. And I've seen a feel and I was like, OK, I want to at least do my a nice cake topper for myself. So I sculpted one. And, you know, the way I knew, I got some clay and I did these little dolls. And on the wedding, it was a huge hit. It was funny. It was like my husband sitting watching South Park. And I was like mad because I was ready to get married and he wasn't. So there was kind of a little bit of jokes around. And it was a hit. And then everybody said, oh, you should do that for sale. You should do that for sale. You should do that for sale. But it wasn't like I didn't really know what I was doing, right? But I was in search for something. So like, well, sure, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try that to have like, an extra uh, an extra income. I was pregnant already. So yeah, everything happened really fast. But anyway, I decided that I was going to try to sell cake toppers. And in order to sell, I wanted to learn how to, to do better. Right. <laughs> so 
uh, when I started like researching for the best material to do it and how to to get better, you know, every different search, I started going on YouTube, um, trying to find on Google information, tutorials, everything, and it was really hard. It was really hard to find like a, co a course, a class that will would teach me everything. So I had to do several researches for different things. I learned a little bit here and then find something else there. So always researching. And at the same time, trying to sell what I was making, trying to offer my job, my work. And then I realized that I had another problem there. It was not easy to sell. It was, you know, even if I, I, I post uh, on the newspapers or whatever that I was doing, I post pictures of the work of, of my own cake topper, it was still hard to sell. And I was like, okay, I need to get better. I need to improve my sculptures. I need to take the next step. I need to make my art stand out. I need these people to look at my work and say, I need it, I want it. Otherwise they won't buy it. So I was like, okay, I need to get better. So I went deeper, 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 deeper in research. Let me see. You beats and pieced? <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. There's somebody saying something. Never mind. Listen to me. This, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so when I started doing these researches, Back then, um, it was um, Orkut. I don't know if you guys remember that, but yeah, that's that's how I started. And they, and I found uh, communities. They had like community groups, and I found community of people that also made cake toppers. They were also learning. They were also already selling. You know, doing the same kind of in the same place that I was. Some uh, a bit more like up, already known and already selling more and doing a better job. And some starting, like, learning even, like, uh, knowing less than me. And in this community, was that was where I learned the most with these people would share, like, because wedding cake toppers is not just a sculptor. You have, like, the specific wedding dress. So, oh, my gosh, how do I do this kind of skirt? And we were always helping each other through the process. We do, we do always uh, sharing new information. Oh, look at this. I found out this is really good. This paint or this thing to use as a hair and always sharing information and then i realized how important it was to to have this community as i learn i was also teaching you know what i mean and when i in this process of learning and teaching is where i noticed that our problems our difficulties were pretty similar we weren't having, like, it wasn't too, it doesn't matter if they were, like, a little bit knowing more than me or a little bit less. We were kind of always doing the same type of mistakes. I started, like, realizing. Um, let me give you an example. Uh, so, for example, when you do wedding cake toppers, it's really common that you, you make a couple and you want to put the arm around the shoulders, right? Just like that. No, was Orkut, not Facebook. Or Facebook was <laughs> a little bit after. That was 10 years ago. So it was Orkut. They don't have it anymore. I don't know. It was so good and people were so engaged. It was really helpful. But anyway, I started realizing this. So uh, when we were trying to put the arm around on the couple, it was hard. It's just it didn't fit. You know, the arm would go around it and it couldn't fit. So if we wanted uh, to actually go with the arm completely around, most of us, we were <laughs> making a longer arm instead of doing the right thing. I was like, okay, but I can't do, I can't make a longer arm to go around the shoulder. I need to, you know, what am I doing wrong? So I started like paying attention and uh, putting my arm around my husband to see how, how can I put my arm around you? Like, how does that fit? And then I realized it was the movement. I cannot just be with the, the sculptor standing here and put my arm all around. If it's a big guy, it's not gonna reach, right? We need to move our body in order to 
reach there, and then the other person also moved the body. So there's a, a shoulder movement here. And then I understood, oh, okay, that's what happened, and I started like teaching this to people. And then I realized also that uh, all of us were, we had kind of like the hands were like robots. The, you, we would like always put the hands like this. Like, I was like, why we always do this? Why our hands don't look natural? What, what is wrong here? And I'm very, like, I, I like these details. I, I like to observe and, uh, and understand, like, what is wrong with these hands? Like, everybody's doing this. And then I realized it was the hand movement was wrong. Uh, and, and I realized, what is wrong? And I started studying. And it's because when we, we move our hand like this, if you notice, we, like what everybody does when we are starting in the beginning, we tend to move, put the fingers down, like bend our fingers down. And I was like, no, that's not how we do. Because if you, we bend our hand actually in this line here, down here, because this is where it meets, meets the bone over here. And that's, that was like a very super common mistake. Everyone was doing this way. So I realized that, uh, okay, so the problems are common. Like, it's, I don't know why, but it's, it's common. It's a repetitive thing that every beginner does. Um, something else that I remember, I am Brazilian, yes. I'm Brazilian. So something else that I remember that was very common, and it was a big, big, when I find that out, I was like, oh my gosh, it was like a, a reveal for me, was uh, I always seen this, this pose where the person has one leg straight and the other leg with the knee banded, but both heels are on the floor. And then I started like, how is this possible? How can both heels be on the floor and this leg is standing and the other one is bending? If this, the, leg, the legs are the same size, how do we do that? And that was like, when I was coping, like, okay, I would do the leg longer to, to bend the knee. It's like, but I, we can't make like a longer leg. What is wrong here? What, what, is, what is going on? <laughs> and then I realized, okay, okay, I get it now. It's the pelvis bone. We have to move our pelvis in order to do this movement. Do you guys understand? There's a little bit of delay, so I have to wait for you guys to, <laughs> to reply to me. I just want to make sure that you guys understood that the pelvis, uh, the movement, when we bend our leg, the only way we can't make the other leg longer and the only way to keep your heel uh, on the floor is moving your pelvis right and it took me some time to realize that and then I looked at uh, other people in these communities and everybody was making longer legs <laughs> so this is when I realized okay if I want to make an irresistible work I have to learn anatomy Exactly. We have to learn anatomy. <laughs> Good night. So, but then this is kind of like, oh my God, I have to learn anatomy. This is huge. This is a lot of learning. It's a lot of understanding. And, and back then I was already teaching. I already had like this group of people that I would teach and uh, students I was, I was already teaching like, you know, wedding dresses and everything I knew I always liked to share and, and teach. So I was like, okay, I need to find a way that I will learn, but I will make a summary and I will make like, find what is really important to learn and group and make this connection so we learn the anatomy on a fun way and we don't need to go you know all the the the, the hard process i need to make a summary and and find easier ways to teach to my students because i know that a lot of these people they they are like mothers in brazil i started teaching in brazil of course i didn't speak english back then 
So I, um, I wanted them, I, need, I know they, did, they didn't have the time to study. And I had two babies back then, and I was staying at home, so I could find time to study, to dedicate. And then I tried to always find these connections, and, and for example, instead of teaching, okay, so we have this muscle, and this muscle, and this muscle, and this muscle, no, let's see, let me see what is the group of muscle that is important to know to put in there, so just what the most important parts, so I can teach them to make the, the right leg, the right way to do. Yes, anatomy, it's a lot, I know. So I created this, you know, summaries, this strategy to get all the information that I had and put it together, kind of like uh, when you do that with a folder, put it all together and teach like this and offer for them this information like that on a fun way. I needed to make it fun. And I like to teach as we sculpt, because this is how I learned. So I think it's much better if you are learning the theory at the same time that you are sculpting, at the same time that you're creating something, you have your hands there, you're practicing. And, and, and I did, and it worked. I can guarantee you guys that it worked. So I'm not just going to tell you, let me uh, show you. I'm gonna show you how. I can, I can, I can tell you that it worked 100% because I'm gonna show you now my student's result. So let me just click here. Hold on, because this is a, a new technology. <laughs> let me see if I learn how to use it. So be patient. We have it. Right. I think I have to do this. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, hold on. Ah, okay, now I know. Ah, okay, I found it. It's here. All right, let me put myself here, small. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm not very good in technology, but I'm good in teaching sculpting. <laughs> I won't teach how to make lives. <laughs> okay. So this is Luis Costa. And this is what he says. This is his work today, these days. Um, so he says, the first time I saw her work, I was just 13. And it was, he was so cute. I was blown away. I started to practice with her tutorials. Her teaching was so fantastic. I feel like crying when I read Luis's words. Uh, that the most difficult became simple by the way she explained it. About a few months later, I was able to make my first caricature, Elvis Presley. The evolution was absurd. I will show you the evolution just one second. So that 13 year, boy, year old boy now is 22, a YouTuber and teacher, and still uses the techniques learned from her. I'm proud and honored to be her student. Juliana Sense is in my life and in my work forever. And you are in mine forever, Louise. An, admir an exemplary teacher, an admirable, admirable blah, 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 professional, a teacher that everyone should have and know. Thanks, Louise. You know, you always be in my heart. This, I pretty much raised him as an artist, and I'm so proud of everything he, he reached these days. Okay, now let me show you the evolution of his work. Look at this. This first one before is the Elvis Presley that, that he did when he was 13. And the other one beside, it was a few months after he took the class. Look at the evolution. It was a caricature. We weren't doing realistic sculptures back then. And I was just like, wow, wow, it works. It works. And this is a few of the, the works that he's doing today. I just added a little bit of other stuff he does. He has a YouTube channel today uh, in Portuguese, and he have a lot of followers. He, he's doing a TV show now. And most of my students actually became teachers, which I'm also really proud. <laughs> yeah, let me put this, hold on, just so I can also see the chat here. You do? <laughs> I know, I love Luis. He's amazing. If you guys don't know him, search him on YouTube. It's in Portuguese, but his work is amazing. 
and you can also learn from him. Uh, so let me show you more. Lili Ferreira, this is also a Brazilian student. I want to thank you for all your dedication and patience to teach us. After you, I met you, my work has improved dramatically. So this one before is what she did before taking the course. This Angelina Jolie, she actually did it with me on a, on a class. And then after the Angelina Jolie, she kept on improving her work. And you can see the difference on the work beside, which is also pretty amazing. Oh, you also follow her? Great. <laughs> Great. You see how I'm such a proud teacher. Like, uh, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so let me go further. That's Pam. Pam is here. She's also super talented. So she, this is a picture that she sent me when she just found my, my group and she was just thinking about joining the classes. So this is uh, her work before, which is super cute. But she said, I have, she said that she wanted to learn, what is that? My goal is to do more caricatures and move from dolls like faces to more realistic sculptures. So, and then after taking the classes, she said, I have learned so many things, but have most enjoyed, enjoy being able to do more realistic faces and expressions. I have always appreciated your detail and instructions technique and your encouragement to also find my own path. Your classes and support have given me the courage to try new things, experiment, and grow. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> it's amazing. And this is uh, what Pamela is doing now, which is fantastic. She did the uh, sitting bull in a class with me, Frida. She, actually, Pamela also create different things. She's great in doing outfits. She always create her own thing. It's amazing, too. And the face expressions. Always great. She also have a page. Pips. What's the name? It's like here it's Pamela Wood on the logo, but I know it's Pips with something. Pam, do your advertise. Come on, comment here <laughs> so people can also follow you. And it's amazing. She's amazing. I have a lot of other students that I could be showing here. Let me show you just one more. This is Ame. I don't know how to uh, pronounce her name. Ame. But... This is her work before she took my class. She was already super talented. And she said before the classes I had, I had sculpted a few figures, but was not very happy with what I was doing. With polymer clay, my figures or dolls were too cartoonish. So you can you look, it's amazing. It is a little bit cartoonish. I wanted to achieve a more realistic result and above all to stop struggling without a simple and concrete way of proceeding. Working with Juliana makes everything easier. She has a unique eye and way of seeing things. She's not just an accomplished artist. She also is an extraordinary teacher. She knows how to guide her students step by step, allows them, I'm going to cry, allows them to start from their mistake, fix them, and improve. Indeed. <laughs> okay. Before taking her classes, I would certainly have stopped, put aside, or left sculptures before finishing them because I would not have enough confidence in the possibility to, of repairing them. And so sometimes you look at works where the person is really starting. It's a really beginner and you think, no way that this person will improve. And then you see the result like Louise, <laughs> boom. And then sometimes you, a student come to me and I look at the work, it's like, oh my gosh, this is an amazing work. I'm not sure if I have anything to offer them. And then that happens. Look at her work now. Seriously. It's just, <laughs> this is, is incredible. She's here too. I saw her here. I'm super proud. I'm super proud. Look at this one, the old lady. It's just amazing. So it's just such a wonderful feeling to know that my efforts in teaching and finding the, the, the easier way worked so well. I, I can see these students just growing and growing and some of them becoming teachers and it's, it's a great place to be. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. I am, I'm super proud. And then, but let me keep on going because I know a lot of you look at me and think, 
Oh, but Juliana Lupine is she's super talented. Like she probably born already knowing and she would do that anyway. <laughs> so I also brought some of my own work to show you guys. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> Um, I use PV clay. Yeah, I don't, I don't use other polymer clay. Um, there's a few reasons that I prefer PV clay. Let me just uh, keep on doing because I have a lot of things to tell. And if I start chatting, I won't be able to finish everything. <laughs> I will go back to chat. She's a wonderful artist. It's right. I have other, a lot of other students. I couldn't go one by one and ask the permission. The ones that I have here, they send me the, the, how do you say that? The, I forgot the name in English. The speeches and, and the pictures, and they allow me to use. So I, I just brought a few. Uh, but let me show you my own, because then you see I didn't born knowing <laughs> everything. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this Angelina Jolie that I made in 2011. Look at these lips. Okay, it's 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 a style, right? But you can't compare with 2012, a year after. Look at the evolution. But I was still doing kind of like a cartoonish style. And then 2016, I was already going for a more realistic face. It's a caricature. The body is cartoon, but the face is more uh, realistic. So that's it, guys. It's not just talent. Oh, and this is my cake topper. And on beside, this is the first cake topper that I brought to show you guys. That was the beginning of everything. That's my cake topper. The reason that I'm here today. <laughs> and the fact that I didn't speak English. So yeah, so big, big evolution. So it's not just about talent. It's not just about being artistic or not. And let me show you a little bit more. Yes, the evolution is crazy. And this is another one uh, to show the evolution. My Marilyn Monroe, 2011, probably at the end of 2011. And my another Marilyn Monroe in 2015. And uh, I, I brought this cake topper because this is like my first, one of my first attempts to go realistic. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so guys, that's it. You guys can see that nobody, no, nobody born knowing everything. Let me go back. Big, big, big for you guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm back big, big. Do you guys like the evolution? So it's not, and that's what I'm saying. You will know everything you need by seeing my path. So as a teacher, my big intention was to give to my students uh, what I didn't have, you know, uh, teach them the easy way, not to struggle the same way that I struggled, the, like to avoid all the the big research, you know, and that, that was always my goal as a teacher, to make it easier, to study, to learn the mo more I could, and then shrink everything and, and do this nice summary and, and boom, teach them. And that, I, I'm very grateful for all the students that I had in Brazil, and then I started to teach in English and my students are very patient with my English. They are amazing. Uh, they even teach me English. So it's always, uh, you know, it goes and comes, the help. <laughs> but, but, there was still something missing in my classes. And I was aware, I always was aware that, and the students also, complain about, not complain, I could tell that some of them, if they were following me through some time, they would be okay following me. They would know how to find the classes. I had the students that try to help me to organize. So it was lacking organization. It was lacking an order to follow. You know, I have a lot of people always message me, hey, I want to take your classes. What class should I take first? So 
after the last few classes, I started realizing that even though I've been teaching all these years and I have all these classes available, it's still something missing. It's still not the perfect class that I would like to have if I was starting, if I wanted to learn how to sculpt with polymer clay. So today's the big day because I'm here to announce that I finally got this course. <laughs> oh, and that's why I'm so excited. Guys, let me tell you, seriously, I got this new platform with all the classes that I've been given and I organized, I've been spending since the last class, I didn't stop. I didn't stop at all. I've been organizing everything and putting a lot of thoughts to create this perfect path to follow. And I pretty, it's, it's a school. Now I can say I have Juliano Lupine sculpting in polymer clay school. It's a school. Everything is in there organized and there are new stuff too. There are the old material, the, the previous classes, and there's the new one. So here is, I'm still not done. The new one is gonna come slowly, but this is the anatomy. Now, I feel that the students that have been following me are ready for more information, get deeper and deeper. So it's a call, it's a school. You will graduate, you start, there's everything is well organized and in order with making sense like why am i doing this first and i also made videos explaining the order it's just so beautiful i can't even believe that i have that and woo! <laughs> it's amazing and and today i'm here to show you guys that and show you guys that you can also already join it's ready it's ready to for you to start and this, the, the anatomy will be slowly put in there, but it doesn't finish there. Remember that I said that I had the community and that's what helped me the most. So it's not just a course. I also want to have this community. I want us to build this community where we help each other and I will be there available for you guys. I will be available, committed to be available once a week. So we will watch the classes. You don't need to worry about time. You will watch the classes in your time and I will be there every once a week, for sure, once a week. And if I can go more, I will go more. If you guys need more, you can ask me and I plan to go more as, as, more as, you, as much as you need. And, and then you can come and talk. It's gonna be, I'm going to have the possibility that you can put your camera too if you want, join me with the camera and show me your work and ask me like, what is wrong? What am I doing? Blah, blah you know, and then I'll help you to go through it. So I wanted to, I want to show you guys. I don't know if I should. I don't want to spoil like the surprise. <laughs> well, first let me put the link here. Let, let me talk about price. So another, uh, one of the things that I saw is a community that is really important. I want to have that strong. I want to build it strong. And it's also price. So a lot of uh, students on my Patreon, that are ready students on my Patreon were concerned, but it's gonna be affordable. Like, is it gonna be much more expensive? And I have the good news. Nope, it's not going to be m much more expensive. It's a little bit more because the platform has, you know, I have to uh, afford some, th some things, but I did take the next step on my classes and I want you guys to take this next step with me. So it's $200 you pay per year in, on Patreon, it's 10 per month, $200 per year. So how much more is that? It's like less than 17 per month. If you do the calculation, 17, no, 16 point something, point six. I, I don't know, I'm good, I'm bad at math. But it's, it's a, something about that. So it's not expensive at all. If you compare to universities and stuff, it's not compared, it's not like, not even close but let me give you guys the link so you guys can at least check the first page or you can already join if you want so let me i'm gonna put the link here it's just the first page where you can it's like the purchase purchase page and you can just 
You can already join. Let's see who's going to be my first student. <laughs> Let me put in here. So that's the link I'm putting on the chat right now. Do you guys get it? That's the link right there. And that's the first page where you can kind of see. But when you join in, when you see the, the, the classes all nice organized, it's, whew, it's a great feeling. And you don't need to feel like, don't be afraid because if you buy the course and you go there, navigate a little bit through the classes and you don't like what you see, I'm giving seven days guarantee because I'm, I am sure that you will just like, whew, love it and have a lot of material to work. Uh, so you just go there and in, in seven days you can give up the, of the class and I will give the money back, complete all your money back without even asking questions. So don't be afraid. Um, maybe, maybe I will do it in Portuguese. I do have a lot of classes. I still have to see because I took it took me all this time from since before, since middle of December that I've been working on that so it takes some time i don't know if i can take all this time off to don't really scope and do my own things but but yes it's it's in my head to also do it in portuguese but right now i have it in english um and don't like i know a lot of people think oh but mm, i'm not gonna have the time that's why having the classes recorded you can always go back you can do in your time and i will be there every week available to help you to go through because i know how life happens life gets complicated i mean when i started i had two babies it wasn't easy it's still not easy now i have four kids living with me because my nep nephews also live here and life happens we have to do it but if this is something you like this is something you love this is something that you might think someday you want to make a living out of it or you already make a living out of it you can take the next step and you will see i i guarantee you that you will at least have fun <laughs> so yeah um and also guys you, you won't be alone i know sometimes like oh but it's online mm, i don't know it's lonely that's also, I agree, it can be really lonely, but it doesn't have to be. We will do this together. I want to really get the, the community strong. Pam was one that commented that she misses when we had the group and it was stronger and we would talk more and be more interactive. I want to bring this back. I want to be even more. I want to have the what I used to have on Orkut. Everybody there sharing, sharing their victories, sharing their failures, sharing their frustration, and we helping each other through. I want to build that with you guys. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to be amazing. So let me see what you guys are saying. It's a bargain compare. Oh, yeah. You can't compare. Like, guys, this is, it's a gift. It's a gift. It's like 17, not even $17 per month. I couldn't go cheaper than that. You know, it's if you smoke or if you drink, you spend much more than that in alcohol and cigarettes per month than you. And it's not even good for you. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> or sugar. <laughs> Never received an invitation from any company to love. Me? No, not that I'm aware. <laughs> Uh, let me, I focus so much in this that I do, like the classes, the students, this is what I love doing. Do you guys get the link? Let me put the link here again, so you guys can now join my new class. Yay! Oh, and I already put eight classes of the anatomy there. Uh, I put some extra classes. We are going to start with learning about polymer clay the problems, the solutions, you know, it's, it's really complete. It's, I'm proud of it. I'm here like super proud and telling you it's great. It's great. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> okay, guys. So what else? I think that's it. How long have you been here? Oh, I, I, I thought I was going to talk much more. <laughs> uh, 
Are you in? Are you the first one? <laughs> Let me see. I think you are the first one. Oh no, there's more people already in. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Guys, uh, p make sure to watch the videos, the intro videos. I think it's US, Larry. I believe it's US. I'm pretty sure it's US. <laughs> so, uh, make sure when you join the class to watch the intro videos. Because on the intro videos, I'm teaching you guys uh, how to follow through. There's the link for the group for us to build our community. There is going to be a private community just for the students. So you feel free to share your pictures, to share your work without, you know, other people seeing. So everybody that is going to be posting there is going through the same, you know, difficulties and joy. Everybody's in the same situation. So it's it's really, really fun. Okay? It's USD. Yeah, it's USD. So, guys, that's it. I'm so happy to have you here. And I'm really, really excited with this school. It's excited and proud, you know? Like, it's a lot of work that I did all these years, and now I finally have it organized, and I have it the way that I always dreamed to have when I was starting. I wish I had it. Because, so that's it. That's everything you need to scope like me. You need to like it. You really need to like it. You need to want it. Uh, you need to learn anatomy. You need to study movement, proportions, a lot of things like that. You need to learn about the clay. You need to learn painting. You need to learn. It's a lot of learning that you can do it on your own. It might it is going to take much longer. It's going to be much harder. You're going to follow the same path that I did. Or you can join the school. You can join a school. Like, I'm not aware of any other school as complete as, as that. Uh, maybe there is, but I've never seen. I see, I see like classes of this and that, of this and that, but I've never seen anything complete like that. I think if that's not the only one, it's the only one I know, or the first one. Maybe in the future other people will do the same. giving up food <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> I hope you want to lose weight <laughs> I hope that is also on your list because then you can check both at the same time <laughs> so guys take the next step is worth and and this is something that it can be you can make a living out of it you can it's not easy but it's possible it's doable or it can be an extra income or it can be like some of my students. They don't want to sell, but they donate to charity and then they can help uh, communities to make some money. You know, it's it's amazing. It can be just a hobby. It can be a professional thing. But either one, having a community, having all these classes, having all the easy path just right there for you is fantastic. It's much easier than struggling, struggling, searching information here, information there, a little bit here, a little bit there, you know. So that's it. <laughs> no, I sent you the link. I posted the link on the chat. Let me post again. It's not on face Facebook or Patreon. It's a new platform built just for, co for classes. I'll post the link one more time and you guys can go and join. There it is. Yes, the, the previous classes are all there for previous uh, students. It's all there. There are only there is only two classes that I didn't post it in there because there are missing videos and I want the, just the perfect ones to be there. But these ones you can still find on Patreon, which is Van Gogh and Jasmine. Because there's missing videos. I can't put in there missing videos class. I think there's like one or two videos missing in, in, in Van Gogh that got deleted on YouTube. Yes. The, the former classes are not just available. They are available and they are part of the order. You understand? 
now there's the test. So, so let me explain. So we start by learning how to make a general face. You learn all the details of the face, nose, mouth, you know, and then you pass for the, and then you learn different face expressions, and then we go for portraits. So we, it's, it's an evolution. So you can evolve your work as you build your portfolio and all of that. And also, if you are a previous student and you're ready to classes, I'm sure you didn't take all of them because there was a lot on Patreon. It's always good to take it again. Not the one that you just did, because you just did the face expression. But if you, if it's been a while since you didn't do the, the face, the general face, go back there, do one face and see, okay, oh, I didn't remember that. Oh, okay, so that's how we do the nose, okay. And see if there's something that it got missed, missed, uh, you know, missed out. So we can stop Patreon as soon as you... Y yes, you can, unless you want to keep uh, Van Gogh and and Jasmine, those are the only two classes that are on Patreon that I didn't put in there. But it is what it is. Unfortunately, it's missing classes I can't really put in there. But uh, yes, I made sure that you guys have all the material there. And we can start this beauty. This one I will post uh, once a week. I will keep on posting the classes. I'm sure that you guys will need more time to do it. I'm also teaching how to make this type of base to hold her. There's a great uh, tutorial there now. It's it's complete and whatever is missing, I will still be building uh, building it up as we, if you notice like, oh, I think you should do whatever. Oh, make a class on like uh, this. Like let's make, uh, for example, hands, just the hands, a big giant. I will do it and it's gonna be put on the, anatomy added to it so it's just i guys i don't know it's so good it's so good and we're going to keep on chatting on the platform uh on the group that you will join so we will read read through it watch the videos and you will be w understanding everything and talk to me on a community okay Oh, Hardy, you got late here. I just told all my story. I'm going to do something. I'm going to save this video. I'm going to let it be saved on the channel. So if you missed out, if you missed the live and you want to watch it, you can watch it here. It's going to be there for any of you to read whenever you can. Okay. Oh, uh, no, they don't have a way to pay monthly, but you can put, I think I can put on your credit card and split or something like that. They didn't have this option like Patreon. Patreon now offers the, the year, year payment, but not this platform. But it's good, you pay once and you don't have to worry about, you know, this for, for a whole year. All right? Guys, really, really thank you for coming. I really appreciate that you're here. And I hope you guys are as, as excited as I am with this news. And, well, if you end up not joining, at least you know my path, you know a little bit about me, my story, how I got here. And it's always good, right, to know how another artist reached wherever they are. All right? <laughs> so, lots of kisses for you. Thank you for coming again. I'm going to go. I have four kids to take care of and two of them are sick so I have to go <laughs> thank you thank you a lot for joining me today and I hope to see you all on the new class okay bye